Niall Fitzgerald graduated from University College Dublin with a BCom in 1969. Niall was the Deputy Chairman of Thomson Reuters following the creation of the new company in 2008. Prior to this, he was the Chairman of Reuters, having spent over 30 years with Unilever in a variety of commercial and financial jobs in several countries. Niall joined the boards of Unilever in 1987, until retiring in September 2004. In November 2008, he was appointed Chairman of Hackloot & Company Limited. He is also a trustee of the Leverhulme Trust and was appointed Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the British Museum in 2006. Niall's previous roles, where he has shared his unique leadership skills, makes up a long and prestigious list. Niall was awarded an Honorary Knight Commander of the British Empire in 2002 and holds a number of honorary doctorates from American, British and Irish universities. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted to be able to congratulate Niall Fitzgerald for uh, winning this award. I really think he's both an example to our current students and graduates but also really a ringing endorsement for the calibre of graduates coming from this school. He's a great man. Uh, one of the great things I think about him is that he always tries to get the best out of people. I've watched him through Unilever, Reuters, Hacklook. He's somebody who has held the Irish flag high in the United Kingdom. And he rose to the very top of the tree in, in Unilever, become the first and I think the only Irishman to date who's acted as chairman of that enormous company. I met you, as I recall, in 1986 when I'd just been hired to join Unilever. He's also very brave and generous in correcting people, even his friends, even his bald friends. You developed an extraordinary cadre of colleagues, but particularly you developed enormous loyalty. Uh, I think a unifying principle is your commitment to people. He was one of those most committed to getting rid of apartheid who was senior in business in South Africa. There's current position in charge of the British Museum is indicative of the esteem in which he is held here, which is not bad for a Limerick man, although I think he was probably improved by his education in Dublin. He is the best chair I've ever encountered, and the way he holds together a large board, letting everybody speak, and then somehow persuading them at the end that they've all come to an agreement is astonishing. Do you know something? I, I look back on my professional life and if you take Niall out of the equation, then all the fun's gone. So he's a great alumni, whoever produced him, obviously his parents and God, but the university must have helped as well. Congratulations, well done, you deserve it and I hope you get many more. Niall, congratulations and very well done. Congratulations and well done. <laughs> congratulations Niall, well done, great achievement. Have a great time. Enjoy the honour.